Let's learn English through Educatune with teacher Aya. Let's talk about listening strategies. Listening, though often underrated, is one of the most essential skills we use in our day-to-day -day communication. When done right, it enables us to completely understand matters we hear and come up with appropriate feedback when needed. Whether we listen for a specific idea or an array of more complex concepts and details, it is vital that we know how to employ ways that can help us listen effectively. This lesson focuses on using listening strategies based on purpose, familiarity with the topic, and levels of difficulty of short text listens. But before going any further, let me check what listening materials have you listened to. Grab your notebook and put a check beside the corresponding number to mark the ones which you have experienced listening to. 1. Radio-based news programs 2. Podcasts 3. Radio commercials 4. OPM songs 5. Public announcements 6. Recorded speeches 7. Lesson recordings 8. Recorded stories 9. Radio weather forecasts and 10. Audiobooks the techniques which contribute directly to the comprehension and recall of a listening input are called listening strategies. There are numerous listening strategies one may use or apply. They may depend on factors like the topic, type of listening material to be used, and the purpose of listening, among others. When listening based on purpose, familiarity with the topic, and levels of difficulty, one may employ strategies which can be classified by the way the listener processes the input. Experts categorize these strategies as either top-down or bottom-up listening strategies. Top-down listening strategies are considered listener-based strategies. In these strategies, the listener uses background knowledge of the topic, the situation or context, the type of the text, and the language to make sense of what he or she is listening to. This means that he or she already knows a fair amount of information about the topic and he or she is able to relate the story or information into a previously established schema or prior knowledge. Examples of top-down listening strategies are listening for main idea, making predictions, drawing inferences, and summarizing. Let's take a look at the example scenario. While having your recess, your classmate tells you a story about her recent vacation, which was an exciting one. You attentively listen and give reactions at appropriate moments, perhaps to show that you can relate to what is being told. Bottom-up listening strategies, on the other hand, are considered text-based strategies. When using these strategies, the listener attempts to make sense of the language, sound by sound or word by word, with less use of background knowledge. The listener relies on the language in the message, like the sounds, words, and grammar that creates the meaning. Examples of bottom-up strategies are listening for specific details, recognizing word order patterns, recognizing cognates, and recognizing word sounds. Example scenario of which is A friend calls to invite you to a celebration at her house 
the following weekend. As you have never been to her house before, she gives you directions. You listen carefully and pay attention to this specific details. To sum it up, in top-down listening strategy, your prior knowledge plays a vital role in understanding what you are listening to, while the bottom-up strategy depends on the words and the sounds you hear to make sense of what you are listening to. Let's practice. Decide whether each of the listening strategies should be categorized as top-down or bottom-up strategies. Write your answers in your notebook. 1. Taking down notes. Is it top-down or bottom-up? 2. Listening for specific details. 3. Identifying the speaker. 4. Summarizing. 5. Drawing inferences Another activity. Examine and identify whether a top-down or bottom-up listening strategy is being shown or applied in each scenario. Write your answer in your notebook. 1. Mr. Cruz, your English teacher, ask you to read some information about a certain topic. Then, he instructed you to listen to a recorded material to find out whether or not the same points are mentioned. Number 2. A friend tries to explain how you can go on a trip to Palawan for the first time. You make sure you do not miss out any important details and instructions about the trip. Number 3. In one of your classes, your teacher asks you to listen to a pre-recorded conversation and identify where the conversation took place. Four, your mother gave you a call and you were asked to buy some items at the grocery store. Since you were not familiar with the items she cited, you made sure to remember specific details she mentioned. And last, while listening to a lecture, you saw one of your classmates taking down important notes. This classmate of yours also made a word map to connect those words and phrases that he or she listed. Submit your answers to your teacher and congratulations for completing this lesson. Do not forget to hit like and subscribe to Teacher Aya Educatun. Thank you.